In this video we're going to be looking at Audacity and if you're into recording your voice, your instruments or any other type of recording on your computer you should have this downloaded right now. It's free and it works on just about every computer out there. In this case you're looking at a Mac so the layout might be a little bit different than if you're using Linux or Windows but generally the layout's the same so let's just go very quickly through all the buttons here. In the top left we have our playback and record control so you can forward stop rewind pause and everything like that in those buttons there we have our editing buttons we'll talk more about that in a video that we deal with editing you've got your sound levels that's your audio playback level at the top and your recording level they're kind of important especially when you start running into problems on the right hand side we've got our copies and paste we've got our zooms and we've also got our recording levels and our playback levels now we're only going to concentrate today on doing simple recording so let's go straight into some of the mistakes that people make in Audacity. So to get recording in Audacity you simply click on the record button and you play an instrument or you talk or you sing and it records. You can see in the recording level that my voice is quite nicely loud without going into the red. We can talk more about that later. And now I'm just going to press stop and you can see that the recording stops. Now what most people do here, let's say they've stopped because they've made a mistake or because they want to add another piece of music or whatever. Now when you come back to record your voice again and you press the record button, you can see that Audacity will create a brand new track underneath and play the original track. Now this is not what I wanted to do, so I'm just going to very simply delete that track let me zoom out a little bit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mouse up to the end there and if I want to record my voice in the same track I started in I press shift on my keyboard and I press record and it will carry on recording in the same track now a really nice shortcut for this would be to press shift and R on your keyboard and you can see in this way I can record my voice, stop at some points and carry on recording in the same track. This makes Audacity a lot neater than just clicking on the record button. So when it comes to playing back what you've just recorded, you can simply click inside your track to wherever you want to go and press play. Nice. Sure. Now another shortcut that's really nice for you to learn is the spacebar which is a play and a stop button so when you press it it plays and when you press it again it stops now one thing to note in audacity is when you play something and press stop the mouse cursor or the cursor jumps back to where you put it so if i put the play cursor here and press the spacebar it will always jump back to where i started now this is really useful later on when you're editing and you want to try and find a mistake or a place to cut so what you can do is kind of put your mouse somewhere play and say okay that's where I want to cut or that's where I want to add some music or whatever you want to do it, so it's not a mistake in other words it's actually designed in audacity to act like that so what we've got now is a track with my voice recorded and you can see that I've recorded a long part here and a couple of short parts here. Now let's say I want to delete part of my track so what I could do is just select it using my mouse and press the delete button. Another behavior in Audacity you'll realize is when you delete something the rest of the track kind of joins together. So you can see now that I've got a cut over here and if I was to delete that it would cut this. Now this kind of behavior in Audacity is both good and bad. It's good because you can work really fast but it's bad because if you're not paying attention to what you're doing and accidentally click the delete button on your keyboard say you can delete quite a lot of work without even realizing you've done it it doesn't give you any warning equally I should warn you that clicking on this X button over here gives you no warning so if I was to click that you would lose an hour's worth of work without realizing it of course you can always undo your mistakes but especially in audio recording sometimes you might have edited 20 things before you realize you've deleted something you needed so be extremely careful in audacity of deleting stuff and deleting tracks because before you know it you could have deleted something that you really worked hard on 
And that really is the basics of Audacity to get you started recording and doing some very simple editing. In the next video, we'll look at some more advanced editing techniques and also how to mix tracks of sounds, music and speech to create an overall mix.